All right, so as promised, this is a video regarding overtime working for JetBlue. I've been working all the time, non-stop, and I just needed a day to just chill. So I have a little bit to drink. Cheers to that. The way that this works is you need to do at least a minimum of like 10 hours of overtime each week so you do not get a flag. You'll find out about flags when you start working for the company. They can be removed. At least do like two hours of overtime each day and then try to fit in like four hours and just work that up until you build up for your vacation. You're gonna get vacation time and you're gonna be able to travel. Right now it's like super busy. Double time is like every day. Overtime is like two days out the week and it's double time every every other day out the week. But to avoid getting any type of flags or anything like that, just work your 10 hours. Do like two hours ahead of your shift each day. Cause you're gonna get a message on your phone and you're gonna get a phone call that says, Hey, code red or code yellow. But just know that you're gonna be able to make good money. Also, there's like incentives that you get for working overtime. Like I just got a hundred dollar Amazon gift card. There's other incentives as well, but like you want to do overtime because eventually they're gonna offer um, VTO, which is like, you can just leave. You can go travel. You don't get paid for it, but it's just not as busy. But right now it's super busy because everybody that canceled their flights due to coronavirus is now either wanting to book or they're wanting to find out about like the credit that they have or it's just every airline is like really busy right now. If you have any questions about overtime or if I didn't cover anything, if you need further explanation, please comment below. I'll be more than happy to respond. You guys know I respond to everything. So talk to you soon. Bye.